So on. But today we are here on a discussion in the one of the foremost gaming library in Africa. And I, I believe they should come and learn a few things. God will help them understand what they have to understand. And it will help them to learn or to learn effectively. I know this is a global world where internet is so much in use. And if we are not, not out, we will not really function properly as we ought to function. So that is why we are here today. And I believe you are going to learn one or two things about gaming library. How to use this kind of facility to help you learn, study, and get to where you have to be in life. And I know that without using things like this, you may not go far in life. And you may not be able to compete with people outside this country, outside this country up there. So that is why we brought you up here and we learn. And I want you to be very careful to study, take instruction, ask questions, whatever question you think will help you use a library. And I want to believe after today, you'll be coming here to use a library and ask you to tell us what I'm going to do. Is that okay? Yes, and I'd like to I thank God for our Lord that you know, people around us what we ought to learn. And I know she will do her job very well. Thank you. Good morning, children. Good morning, Emma. My name is Eddie Dion Andrew. And for today I'll just I'll be your tour guide. I'll be taking you around the library and I'll just explain to you or how the library came to be. I'll just give you a brief history of the library. And let me just put this facility because we have other units in the library. Well, um, first, okay, this is a comprehensive bus. What's the name of this? Comprehensive second bus. Okay, so you're welcome. On behalf of the Commission of Science and Technology, the coordinator of the library, the entire staff of Stephen. You are welcome to the library. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. So, what I'll be expecting for you is that anywhere, maybe if I say something and you don't understand, you should just call me back and then I can explain that. So, first of all, I'll, I'll, the e library was commissioned on the 25th of June 2004. It was commissioned on the, 20th, um, on the 25th of June, 2004, by the ex-president of Nigeria, His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ebere Jonathan. 25th June, 2004. Now, how many of you have actually been to the library? As a, not like a library, you know, we have a lot of library, we have the state library, we have um, the school library. But how many of you have actually been to the e-library? Okay, so you, okay. Anyone, uh, is there any other person? Okay, so only one person. So the e-library, I just want to tell you, the e-library is divided into two major sections. We have a service known as the e-resource, and we also have the service, um, the hard copy books, that's the books. The library, a library is not complete without the hard copy books. Do you understand? It's just like now, because of technology, you will just start telling kids or teaching people that they have to throw away the tradition. Sometimes you have to make reference back to the tradition. So let me just put it that the hard copy books are or is the tradition of a library. There are different definitions of library. You can say library is a collection of books 
written by different people, different authors, and you know, that's in a library you get to see materials by different people, irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their nationality, whether they are from Nigeria, um, um, the United States, or anywhere, you will find books written by different authors, and now it's up to you to get or to read all of them or some of them and then get um, get the information that is required. The essence of coming to the library is for you to get information, right? Or else you won't be reading or else you won't be going to school. It's for that information. And they say information is what power. It is saying that those information is power, right? Okay. So I said, I said the library, the e-library, the unit, the library unit is divided into two major sections. We have the e-resource and then we have the hard copy book. And we all know what the hard copy is, textbooks. So that means we have books covering different fields. The secondary sections, we have books covering uh, math English, biology, civic education, uh, um, uh, for that math, all those uh, courses in the secondary sections. We have books for prim the primary section. We have books even for babies. We have books for people that are expecting babies on how to handle children. You understand? So, for example, now, you know these habits. Let me, okay, let me just, uh, most of you have younger ones. Okay, you know these habits of, um, People train up children like this. In the library, you get to find out, you get information that you were so ignorant about. That it's not good to throw kids, babies, because you might end up, um, uh, it might end up affecting their brain. Because as you are throwing them up, the, the brain is moving. You understand? It's, sh it's shaking, it's shaking, so it's not good. Things like that. If you don't come to the library, don't read about it. It might actually be putting your life in danger, or you're putting your neighbor's life in danger, or you're putting your uh, family in danger. So that's why information is really, really powerful. It's really, really necessary. You, at least once in a while, you read a book. You mustn't come to the library to read a book. We have books everywhere. Now, that takes me to the second part, the e-resource. The e-resource is the use of, is a service whereby you can actually make use of, um, get access to any information you need without coming to the library. Now, your teacher actually brought you here because he, he, he made mention of um, the ICT technology and if we don't, if we don't, um, if you don't move with, you know, uh, the changes in the world, you you just be stagnated. You just be, you won't progress. Let me put it that way. So now, the e-library. What makes it an electronic library is the e-resource and the ICT. The e-resource actually gives you access to any information you need without having to be physically present in the library. So that means even in the comfort of your home, even in your school, wherever you are in the world, you can still have access to the information you need with the e-resource. So now technology has made it possible for us not, you don't have any excuse at all. You don't have an, any excuse to say, okay, I, 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 don't, I don't have uh, these books or all those books are made available on the net, on our website. So that's what the e-resource is all about. It's you have you get um, you gain access to information on the website without coming to the library. As long as you have your smartphone, a laptop, computer, and internet service, you can actually get the information you need. And it's very very. You don't need to flip any book. All what you need is to type in the information you need or the question you want and all the answers you want in this world will be displayed for you. It's not up to you to pick the ones you want. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. You don't even need to, even if you are not in Nigeria, 
you can this service is available wherever you are in the world just have your smartphone internet laptop everybody has a phone now if i ask most of you even if you don't have a phone your parents have um, your parents have or maybe your elder ones your uncles your aunties they have so you don't have any excuse to tell me that you you can read all these materials are made available all you need is to all you need is um uh to know our the website and then you can just type in type your uh, questions and everything will be displayed but the physical books you have to and now that you're in our back chair most of you are staying there you have to come all the way from our back to e library cross that river niger as i did <laughs> And come and pass and come here, but with the e resource, you can just stay at home. Your maybe your your teacher gave you an assignment. You just tell your mom or your dad, please let me use your phone. And then you type in anything. You see so many answers from different people. It will be displayed. It will not. It's not up to you to pick the one that you think uh, suits what you actually you want. I don't know if I'm you're getting me. Okay. So now I've explained the two sections. I'll take you around now. We have another unit. We have uh, other parts or departments in the library. We have the ICT unit where um who can tell me the full meaning of ICT? Yes. You mentioned not for you. Okay. The full meaning of ICT is Information Communication Technology. And as we all know, the world is developing, it's fast developing. So if you do not, if you're not conversant with the with ICT, with your computers, with you know, with your smartphone, you'll be left behind. Let me just give you one story. A friend of mine said that the grandmother came to visit them. And when she came, I think she reduced the screen uh, mistakenly of her phone. Like now, you see, my phone is very bright. And now I can actually reduce it. You see? You won't see anything. Especially if this place is light, so you can still see something and you can still see the screen. But if I go to a darker or at night, you won't see anything because I've reduced the lighting. Now, that's what happened to the grandmother. The grandmother now was, she was not telling the girl that, that her phone, no, the phone has fault. Or the girl just came, looked at the phone, said, okay, he said, ah, ah, your phone, the screen has fault. Or, and to change the screen is 20,000 naira. She collected, the woman now gave her the 20,000 naira. She took the this thing, went out, came back, just increased the screen. Why she cheated that woman with twenty thousand naira because of ignorance because she's not she's not you know in their time they weren't exposed to these things and as a result the 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 granddaughter just gambled away with her twenty thousand something that you don't need to spend anything because of ignorance because she doesn't know so that's why I want you all to. Get to know ICT, know everything about the, um, the computer, know everything about ICT so that someday your child will not collect 100,000 <laughs> for something that is not even worth 15 naira. So, okay, enough of the library and the ICT. You, I told you about the ICT unit where computer based tests are being conducted. Example, jam examination. You understand? Yes. ICT unit. It's just where you find, when you get to that hall, you see computers. We have about 1,000 computers with backup systems. Okay. Um, when you get in there, that's just where tests, computer based tests are written. Exams that requires you to use computer instead of pen and paper is written in that gym. Do you understand? So I'll take you there. I'll show you the place. That's another. This place where where you are is called the conference hall. 
this is another unit where we used to we um the the library used this to um they use it for meetings conference seminars it's a hall it's a conference hall with um a projector that's the screen we have three exits here we have three exits for this one there's another point there there's another one this way three exit points and this building is very very secure we have a lot of security um equipment Starting from the fire extinguishers, alarms, and all that, cameras, CCTV cameras, and all that. We have all those things. So, our the facility is very, very secure. When I say it's 100% secure, okay, let me not put 100%. <laughs> it's 99% secure. <laughs> and you get to see things like the fire suspensions, all those things that um, maybe if there is a fire outbreak. In the building, it brings out water. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. We have things like that. Those are all security um, equipment or tools in the building. What did I say this place is called? Conference hall. Okay. This is a conference hall. And I said, what what happens here? Conference, for seminars, for spelling bees, for uh, meetings. That's what this place is used for. Then we have two massive bottles. We have bottles for people that maybe in a company you actually want to talk to your staff or you want to meet with friends or group of people. You can actually come here and get and rent our conference for our boardroom for the meeting. I will take you there. I told you about the ICT unit. We have four of it. Then I told you about the reading areas. We have the reading areas. We have we have reading areas for children. We have reading areas for teenagers. We have reading areas for um, the adults. We have an open reading area. That's for everybody. Um, uh, yeah. We have other reading areas.